Welcome back, ladies and monsters, to another one of my, you guessed it, Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we're going to be covering the Leap skill. Now, um, I know this is a mechanic, however, somebody wanted me to make a skill out of it because they wanted to know how they can make a monster leap at you and then proceed to activate another skill afterwards. So, conveniently enough, I actually already had a mob of my own that used this, so it's pretty easy to recreate. With that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it is done. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and say if you are not part of my community Discord, please make sure to join. I will have a link in the description where there we showcase lots of things. Players interact with one another. You get in, uh, questions answered on how to do things. Um, you can showcase your own mobs or, you know, whatever you want, your own server. It's just a good time in there, so make sure to go check it out. Now let's go ahead and get back into the tutorial. So to get started, as always, you're going to want some sort of mob. Per normal, I have movement speed set to pretty much non-existent, and same with damage. One thing one of my pretty awesome community members told me is there's a new option in Mythic Mobs for Zombies called Prevent Sunburn. So we no longer have to make these be husks um, that apply hunger to us, because it just wouldn't make sense. Now we can just have disguised zombies because it just works perfectly. So, I highly recommend adding this option to your mobs if you are using a zombie that has some sort of disguise to it. Now, let's go ahead and get into the skill. After you have your mob set up, you're going to want to go ahead and make a skill, which I'm going to go ahead and call Leap Attack. On a timer of 5 seconds. Now, I have two different mobs here because I'm going to be showing two different ways it can be used, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this down. Um, make sure your, your capitalization is correct. I seem to capitalize the I every single time. I'm not sure why. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our leap attack. Leap attack. Skills. Leap. Velocity equals 200 at target. Now, there's actually a good reason why I have it set to 200. I recommend 100 to 300, um, because if you have it set to something like, you know, like 10, your mob's literally just gonna do this. It's not really much of a leap, is it? That's like tiptoeing towards something. So, for a good damaging leap, you're going to want to have it set from anywhere from 100 to 300. You can go above 300, but beyond that gets really lengthy and you'll see your mob like jumping really long distances. If that's something you want, then you know, you're more than welcome to do so. However, I highly recommend having it set to 200. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Uh, start. Okay, so here's my guy. As you can see, that's what a leap of 200 velocity looks like. It's not very far at all. So feel free to go really high with these numbers if you feel it's uh, fitting. Because, as you can see, 200, that's only like maybe a 4 block distance. 3 to 4 block distance, which is not far at all. So now we have our leap set up, and this is just kind of boring. There's like nothing exciting about this kind of attack. He's leaping at us, and he's punching us, but like... What if we want something more? What if we want that spice? You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. As you can see, his leap lasts for about one second. So with that knowledge, we're going to go ahead and do a thing here. We are going to go in, go ahead and throw in a delay of 20, which is one second. Now we're going to call upon another skill that we are about to create. We're going to go ahead and call this one Spear Thrust, because uh, back in the day, these guys would have had spears or swords. Of course, we don't have that in Minecraft. We have tridents, which are close, which I have not added, but eh, that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do Spear Thrust at self. Next, we're going to go ahead and set up the ability. Spear Thrust. And we're going to add a new thing here called Conditions. If you have not seen my conditions tutorial, please make sure to check it out. I will have a link in the description for that tutorial, as it's pretty helpful for explaining how and why this will work. So, we're going to go ahead and add a condition here called target within. We're going to do d equals 3, true. Next, we're going to set up our skills. 
and we're gonna do a different thing here. We're gonna do damage. Amount equals... We'll do amount equals five. Ignore armor equals true, so we know it works. And prevent knockback equals true. Now, whoops. Um, now, of course, you can set this up to do whatever you want. However, this is what I see fitting for a spear wielder because, you know, if they had like some sort of giant hammer, of course, you'd go flying or something. But this guy has a spear, which is meant to do, you know, just straight up damage. And then we're going to add a sound effect to it just to make sure it worked. So as you can see in my chat, I have it spammed here that I was kind of playing around with trident sounds. We're going to do sound s equals item dot trident dot throw at self. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down before we reload. Whenever he leaps, after a one second delay, he's going to call upon another skill. And it's a good thing we looked back at this because otherwise this would not have worked had we not added S equals. Okay, so he's going to call upon his skill, Spear Thrust. Spear Thrust will only work if we are within this distance of three. Whenever we are within that distance of three, he is going to damage us for two and a half hearts, which is five, and he's going to play this uh, trident sound whenever he activates the skill. So let's go ahead and reload. And I'm going to turn off god mode here too so we can see the damage. As you can see, that hurt quite a bit, and he did in fact hit us. <clears throat> it's a pretty freaking cool ability, huh? Uh, so three might be a pretty big radius because that, that was actually really far. Um, I'd recommend maybe setting it down to two. One will pretty much be like, ow. One will pretty much be like right where he's standing, which is eh. So, and two is pretty iffy because if he punches you, yeah, it's going to be a little off setting. But uh, you can also play with the delay if you would uh, choose to. So we're going to go ahead and turn God Mode back on. And now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of our guy here. <clears throat> so, MM kill Spartan. And we are going to move on to our werewolf friend. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep all of this that we already have going. And we're just going to make a different skill. So, skill S equals uh, big bite, I guess at self. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add a um, hashtag here to disable this, meaning this skill will not activate anymore. And this skill will in its place. Now you can get rid of this entirely if you so choose, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it there. Here, we're gonna add our new skill. We're gonna add the same conditions and uh, target within. D equals, we're gonna do 2.5 because it's slightly bigger. Um, true. Skills. Now, here we're gonna play around with the consume skill. So, heal equals, hmm, we're gonna do heal equals five and damage equals five. So this will hurt us and heal itself uh, five whenever he hurts us. And we're gonna add a different one um, sound s equals entity dot generic dot eat at self. So assuming this works properly, uh, we won't really be able to tell that he healed unless we have some sort of health bar, which, um, actually, nah, I'm not gonna set, yeah, I, I guess I will for you guys. So, boss bar, able, true, title, Wolf. <clears throat> okay, so now we have a boss bar set up to just kind of see where our uh, mob is at, and it's going to display his health so that way we can have proof of his damage. So we're going to go and reload here, and we're going to spawn in our werewolf. 
Okay, so he's at five health. As you can see, that would have hurt us, so we're gonna actually get him out of here. Turn off God Mode. And like last time, he's gonna leap at us. And he bit us, and as you can see, it hurt a lot, and he healed himself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's our uh, that's our leap attack, and a couple different ways you can use it. If you like this tutorial, please like and comment, and even um, subscribe for more future content. As always, I'll be keeping uh, I'll be trying to keep up with uh, your guys's requests. I apologize for how late this video was. I had some technical errors and then got caught up with classes, yada yada. Um, but I will continue to make more tutorials. So yeah, if this inspired you, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and make sure to check out my Discord for more future content that will be on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.